the Rebel one, and welcome back to Equestria War. I'm your host, as you probably know by now, Mr. Mocha Lover. But right now, we're doing Tricolor over the West. Now, I can't honestly remember if I read this last time, but let's do this. Thanks to the stronger Republican spirit in the West, the Griffins there have enthusiastically embraced our arrival. From Aquilia to Skyfall, the Tricolor flies proudly. Citizens are filled with fresh hope for the future. And it looks like if we get enough compliance, we'll be doing very, 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 very well. And let's go ahead. So right now, we've done it. That's great. We need to do the new Griffin Stone, so we need Griffin Stone. So we gotta go to war. And I've, I've already gone we've been planning some things here, but um, I don't remember I read this yet, but the Cloudberry Wenders are some of the harshest in all of Griffonia. And even though we've been there for some 30 years, many of our troops still have not acclimated. It's time to truly begin winter training so that our armies can defend against unprepared Imperial forces just from the south, just as Cloudberry did during our assault. And then we'll do an armored spearhead. Tanks have become one of the most important and powerful assets in modern warfare. Many of our neighbors, like us, have neglected and ignored this fact for the longest time. But no more. Our research and production on this new sort of vehicle shall commence as soon as possible. Also, I do want to let you know, at the time of this recording, there's an update out for this mod, Equestria War. So if things seem a little jank and or there's a lot of fade and fade outs, it might be because we will not be able to do too much in this mod, or for this campaign. So, I just want to let you uh, be aware of that. So, right now, we're training our ships. Uh, go home, guys. Go home. We do have a capital ship, which is nice. But, uh, as you can see, kind of planning something here. Kind of planning a certain something here. Just because uh, this is a radical and anti-radical front. I kind of want to take out these guys. So, actually, where's Griffin Stone? That's it right there. So, we're going to need that. Um... Okay. There you go. Good luck. We're going to need some uh, luck for this. Nah, we don't need luck for this stuff. Go there, and then... Equestria claims the Badlands. Very cool. Okie dokie. Sounds good to us. And we still have no manpower, but... Getting more cores here... Hopefully isn't too bad. So, we'll see. Sure. Nothing there. Yes. Local integration. No. We really do have quite a bit of... Uh, a compliance already established, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. We're getting military police. Just look at that manpower. Not bad. Um, are you guys? The, oh, it's you guys that are. Wait. Reserve division are doing the garrison. So let's go and throw on some military police. That would be very, very nice, right? Is that the correct one? Yes, yes. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh no, it's not. Okay, so that's actually sucking up quite a few things that we got there. Okay, interesting. Cool. So that should be going quite a bit better then. Ah, nice. Nice. Very good. Cool. We've got some comments to go through such as... Do one of the kingdoms of Grifonia. Apparently through the Republic of Grifonia's tree. Whoa. What is this? Precision bombing? Whoa. Okay. Cool. Very cool. Are we suffering? We're not suffering any sort of attrition here. So, wing party, let's go in. Do they attack us or anything? I do want to just, just go to war with all their allies. Barony of Rumer. Um, oh, well, you guys are there too. There you go. They're not attacking us, which I'm a little disappointed in, but whatever. Wow, those modern tanks look really, really bad. Uh, at this point, we got to do this. Someone wants to help us out against these guys, which is great, great, great. Ah, uh, sure. Why not? Do we actually just win there? Because we're doing quite well right here. I mean, they... It's not bad. Could be better, though. Could be better. I'll run them. Very, very nice. And Giulio Piccolini has quite a bit of manpower. He's on, what, scraping the barrel? Wow. A lot of divisions. Stockpile's not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good so far. Uh, you guys have done a great job so far. I'd say quite, quite good. Going, though. Because we don't have enough time to just kind of sit around. So let's, can we actually win here, too? Yes, but no. But really, yeah. no, but yes. That's definitely a mixed bag. But if we can move f fast enough through here, we'll be okay. We'll definitely be okay, so. Not really too worried about it. It's just supplies are going to be really bad. I'm sure five is not enough. So, we'll see what happens. And we're overrunning them. We've taken how many casualties? We've taken a lot of casualties so far, which is really quite bad for us. But they're racking up a lot of casualties right now themselves. Actually, do we need to own it or can we just occupy this land? Um, at this point, since we're kind of okay on divisions now, I can probably... I don't want to get rid of all of them, but we're doing pretty darn well. I'll be honest. We're doing pretty darn well. I'll close that out, close that out. I don't really care about that stuff. Um, history, man, eh, kind of okay. Are we close to being done? Demobilizing? S sort of ish? Sort of ish. Okay. If that's the case, now that we're down here, I'm going to tell you guys to leave because we just we just need one army down here. So that'll be fine. Uh, Hellcoil last time fell to the River Federation, which is fine. You guys did great. Uh, I'll have you guys do this. 
Get on the line. It's going to be really bad, which is going to be not very bueno, but that's okay. Oh my goodness, Gales has no infrastructure. That sucks. That really sucks. Can you guys come to room air, maybe? Nice. Not bad. Pretty good. Oh, and... Oh, look at that. We got him, too. Oh, adaptable. Yes, please. I love adaptable. Great, 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 great. Military police. Uh, you guys over there, go ahead. Keep going, guys. Military police 2. Let's grab military police 3. I love suppression. How are we doing over here? Um, oh, we have a... Oh, Jesus. 50-some? Nice, nice, nice. We have a... As you can see, we've got just so many planes in the air. Holy crud, daddies. Alright, so let's go do armor spearhead then. Look at that damage, man. So much damage by heavy tanks. Now that we've begun tank research, it's time to look into heavier tank designs. That allows to truly challenge Imperial dominance and industry in their fierce mobile warfare doctrine. Nice. Very, very good. Actually, I might grab one of these things, too, just because we can. Get some more research speed first. Have your poles, that's fine. I'm going to have you guys just, like, build it up here. You'll be fine. You'll be okay. Alright, not bad. Pretty good. We've lost 100,000, 131,000 versus almost a million. I mean, I can't really complain. I mean, that's really good. So, very nice. Go and do that. You know what? Get some more stability because we can. I can still fill out bank vaults, but I just don't feel like it. I really don't. But heavy tanks will be next. And then we're done with this side. And we got an AV to challenge Rotterdam. Rotterdam. Okay, interesting. Cool. Uh, does anyone else have upgrades actually before we keep going? Nice. Battlefield concentration. Keep going with the carrier stuff. That'll be good, 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 good. Uh, cut these guys out. We could really save the manpower, though. So. Actually. Or we'll just do this. There you go. That helps. Because I want to get all that manpower. I don't want to lose any more. And we're overrunning, which is great. So I don't mind cutting them down just a little bit. Just because we will need a little bit more manpower for reinforcing our divisions. Which is fine. Uh, nuclear stuff is good, 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 good. That's a little bit ahead of time. Uh, we'll get that one. Eh, that's not that bad. Mm, jets would be good. Why not? Let's get some jets. Good, good, good. And I'm a spearhead. And heavy tanks. Followed up with a navy to challenge Rotterdam. Rotterdam. Since we both have a republic, we didn't have a single vessel under our command. It's time to change this. With the establishment of a proper navy, we have a great opportunity to rule the seas in northern Griffonia. Nice. And yes, we will. 8%. So we get down to 7.5. So we're almost there. We're so close. We lost, what, a quarter million? About a quarter million versus two million. That's, not, that's really not bad. They should be out of man bar by now. Yes, they are. Up to 100 divisions left. Who else can we take out? We can take out the Griffonian Republic. Did you know that? Well, I, I, I don't know why we would, but that, the option's there, I guess. Oh, uh, since our navy is here, too. There you go. Put you in half, actually. Are we actually lacking artillery? Oh, my goodness. That's not good. Yeah, I mean, that's just because of what we did here, so it's fine. Whatever. These guys should pitch. Yep. Okay. Yep. I was going to say, they need to capitulate, and we got them. Nice. Okay, so up next then, we're just going to do the new Griffinstone. Griffinstone was once the capital of the great Griffonian Empire when it was united by the first Grover, using the idol of Boreas. This being such a heart of monarchism, it's understandable that we that we should rebuild this land and make it a true model of Republican province. Nice. Cool, we're going to need a lot of compliance for this. Are we done demobilizing? Because once we're done demobilizing, I'm just going to quit, you know, making so many god dang divisions. Don't get me wrong, I love them, but still. We should be there very, very soon. Nice heavy tanks, let time go on. As you can see, I don't really care about extra factories for now. We'll, we have more than enough. We need some more manpower, of course. That's all right. You guys go here next. Good God, infrastructure sucks down here. It's all right, though. Happens. There you go. Seven. Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot. Holy crap. Uh, and get some air, air bases, too. That'll be very, very beneficial for us, so. All right, not bad. I do love this extra content after we beat the Griffonian Empire. That's very, very nice to have. Very, very awesome. Okay, cool. And we're done? Not yet. God dang it. Alright, what else do we have here? Tanks? Fighters? I guess that's okay for now. 
Even though we're gonna need the aluminum for it. And after the new Griffinstone. They industrialized the hotland, a uh, hot of Griffinkheim, Griffinstone and the du Grand Duchy of Varenia. We're wealth major Griffin nations back when the Griffonian Empire was only a dream in the minds of many Griffins. We must revive these lands and bring them up to speed with modern D modern industry modern industry and agriculture. My apologies. Oh my voice is just like going oh or my pronunciations. Oh my goodness. Uh, oh going down to ninety five percent. So it should be done, right? It should be done very, very soon. Great. Now it's done. Now we can have some manpower. There we go. Half okay, that's not bad. Half a million's not bad. Tricolor, tricolor over the heartlands. The lakes must be brought into the Grif uh, Griffonian Republic as rightful core territory. Local Republican governments will be created, and the people of these lands will be liberated. Liberate the south. Well, we just killed them. Liberate the frontier. Leave the south alone. No, I don't think we will. Um, who's next? Uh, Huckland would be good to take out as well. We don't have any of our things set up, though, so... Uh. Blackrock, thank you, thank you. So we got Halklin, we got this group, ourselves. Oh, it's just us two. Is that it? Wow, that kind of sucks. And there they go. I mean, we will raise conscription if we really do need it, but I don't think we really need it right now. And we're going to do this, and then we're going to do this too. This might be a little overkill, but it's for the good of the cause, right? It's always for the good of the cause. There you go. All that matters is that we make it over here. That's all I really care about. And since we're here... Oh, we don't have to go to war immediately with those guys, so we're just going to go and grab... Where is it? Where is it? Naval invasion? Wait, why can't we do this? Enlarged... Are you kidding me? Enlarged destroyer hull. Really? Really? Man. Well, we got to wait with them. Try to deliver the heartlands. And liberate the south. I mean, we could do that. We could liberate the frontier, though. Kingdom of Hellquill. That'll put us at war with those guys. This will put us at war with Order of Trinity and Duchy of Toulouse. That's not bad. Or we go over here, liberate the frontier. Lucy, Griffin. I kind of want to go on this side. Just because we can go to war with these. And we already took these guys out. I'm gonna, I don't know. Let's do the, liberate the frontier. The wild lands of the eastern frontier must not be left behind by the march of progress. These Griffins will take the rival place of citizens of the Republic. If you want to about this one, please go right ahead. Gas, gas being no place for fascism. Truck all over the south. That'd be good. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. I don't want any more army support, so. And there we go. Thank God. That's going to take a while to do, which sucks. That sucks, 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 sucks. Try to live the heartlands and liberate the frontier. Oh, wait. Oh, we can do this one. Do liberate the south anyways. Okay. The Griffins of the south. Oh, look at that. Have a notoriously independent spirit, but if liberty and justice are to prevail, all Griffins will stand together in solidarity. It may be a difficult task, but it is a righteous one, and a good one at that. Actually, these guys are independent, so that's actually okay with us. Good. How many divisions do they got? How many, seriously, like, that's a lot of guys. That is a, oh, yeah, that's a lot of guys here, man. Ooh. I don't want to make a mistake and say that we can take them on immediately. But that might be a mistake if we actually don't do that. Um, you know what? There we go. All that matters is that we win the war. So, yeah, good luck. Oops, and that's it too. Good. Finish that air doctrine at least. Oh my gosh, that's so bad. These guys really weren't working on infrastructure at all. They had so much time to, and they didn't. Why? Give us a couple of days, because I do want some more radar here. I think that would be very, very beneficial for us. Oh, we have to make some nukes. we got more than enough air bases already, which is good. Uh, so, yeah, give us some more time with that. That'll be good. Obviously, it's not good to have seven out of five uh, armies under a field marshal, but whatever. Back in my day, you only used one general and one field marshal for the entire front. And 
and the Rita Self. Followed up with probably the Navy to challenge these guys. That'd be good. And there goes a the Navy. Hopefully they can do well. Yeah, let's look at some stuff. Good, good, good. Some destroyers, some light cruisers. Nice. Good job, guys. Anything else? Yeah, another task force. Good. United Dragon Isles? Sure, that's fine for now. Can you guys actually win here? That'd be really good if you guys could. Obviously, we'd have to invade there too, but, you know. It is what it is. Oh, nice job, guys. Just don't get in circle, please. Nice, another story gone. Good, good, good. Do you have any other cap? Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow! Holy crap! That's a lot! Nice! Holy crap! So that's eight battleships and still the heavy cruiser cell. That's actually very nice. I'm feeling pretty good about the Navy now. A lot of convoys, which is very good to see. Ah, we need this one too, huh? It's fine. There we go. Hopefully we can invade. Ooh, that's actually really, really, really flipping risky. But a Navy, why not? Should have killed them all off, right? No? Okay. Can you guys actually win your all but one go here? Take one and go here to here. See what we can do. See what we can start cooking up. Go into that one. Yeah, we can actually win. Uh, that's good. You hold. Because they're going to start attacking us, probably. Nice. I need you guys to... F oh, come on. You, you should be able to force the attack, right? Like, I can't imagine them having more manpower. They have literally no manpower left. So, there we go. We got them. We have ran them. Nice. Just in time for... Uh, Navy invading them. Well, just in case. There you go. Cool. Are we ready for this? I don't think we are. But we're going to do it anyways. Yeah, that's what I thought. Not bad. Ooh, I forgot about that one. That's fine. Actually, that's kind of okay. We can actually move our guys down here then. There you go. And just in case they evade somewhere else, we'll put them right here. That's very nice. Good. Anything else on the left we can do just yet? Yes. Me with the Gaspuingi. Giovanni de Gaspuingi is an eminently reasonable griffin who shares many of our goals. Publicly meeting with him may produce a mutually beneficial accord. As well as boosting and bolstering his ideological allies within the Republic. Nice. Good stuff. Naval adoption, please. Thank you. Alright. And then no place for fascism. Wing body is the birthplace of fascism, a dangerous and incoherent ideology, needless to say. The wing body and fascists will never accept any degree of integration. In the Republic, we must crack down and reveal this moment for what it is, utterly incompatible with freedom. And they're still attacking, which is good, 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 good to see. Losses, 80,000 versus the Rubber Federation, which is nice. But they do have a lot, a buttload of divisions. Like, that's a lot of divisions, man. I don't want to send you to Hell 12, maybe. We'll see what happens. Oh, now we're suffering attrition. That sucks. If we got rid of an army, that might be okay. We'll see. I mean, I'm sure they got tons of manpower. Just tons and tons and tons and tons of manpower. So get where already. Hey, what? I told you to come down here, guys. Bunch of losers you are, then. Well, at least they're still attacking, which is really, really nice. How much manpower do they have, actually? That's a very good question to ask. They don't have, honestly, that much right now, but obviously they can conscript a god-awful amount. Cool. No place for fascism. Are we actually losing here in the air war? How? 400 planes. You really want me to boost these up. Okay. Um, I'm not sure who's over here, so... We only have 26,000 some casts available to kill enemies, so. 
all right, whatever. But then we'll also go with Tricolor of the South. Although some doubted the wisdom of embarking upon it, our southern campaign has turned out to be a complete success. The forces of disunity have been defeated, and the Griffins of the South now stand proudly beside us. Great. Look at that, just nuts. Not so. So you're actually there, that's good. They probably won't break, be able to break our lines, so that's good as well. Even though they don't really look like they're trying to do too much either. They're doing okay, they're sort of... Eh, I don't want to say running out of manpower, but still. Can you guys actually do anything here? Get you guys down here too. Maybe not. I mean, they are taking a lot of attrition, but it's not enough still. Federation broke some of our ciphers. It is what it is. Come on, attack us again, baby. Come on. Come on. And truck over the south. Followed up with Rhomba Control Mechanisms, nice. Saxon Hagen Plumjar Doctrine or Hassenstelf Hassenstelf Doctrine. I like this one more, because we get more attack from here. Otto Saxon Plumenjar is loosely related to the Calabarian royal family, and is technically the heir to the remnants of the dynasty. Despite his royal blood, Cameron Sky kept him and his mother alive and allowed him to become an admiral as a concession to a monarchist. Otto is a strong proponent of naval forces that can squash the enemy through sheer numbers, armor, and caliber. Yes. We like that a lot. Ah, see, they're still attacking. Can you guys actually win here? Maybe not. How many planes do they have in the air? No, we've got we have air superiority. We're doing a ton of damage to them. It's not enough, huh? Well, it seems like we're going to do a lot of uh, baiting them. All right, let's see what we can do. With this here. Losses, 40, 47,000, holy crap. We're just half a million is not bad, but still. Oh, they're still attacking. Oh yeah, they're going crazy about it. Don't get me wrong, I like it, but still. Jesus Christ, I told you to do this, guys. Why do you keep disobeying me? Oh my god, stop it. He's trying to attack us here, which is nice, but... We're going to really try some strikes here, too. We'll try our best. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Nice. All right, and we'll do this one too. Can we resist some battleships? Yes, please. Battleships should all be the unquestioned rulers of naval warfare. It's clear to us that they will decide all naval battles, and as such, we should strive towards getting some of our own. A good way to start would be using our new shipyards in Winghaven to construct new battleships. There are talks about two promising projects we could develop from there: the Dreadnought class and the Aut Atreus class, or Atreus class. Very nice. Oh god, now we're suffering attrition. God dang it. Can you guys actually... I'd love to see you win here. Please, 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 please win. Are they still taking up north? Because if they're not... In the... They're looking very weak in some areas here. Can we actually do anything here? Sort of yes, but sort of no. It's a, it's a definitely mixed bag. I'm feeling towards more no, but yes could be possible. Yes. A hundred thousand men of ours have just died. But nearly a million of theirs have just died as well, so... It's definitely give and take. We can always raise the conscription level because we're back down on extensive conscription, so... Not bad. It could be a lot worse for us. Slide promoted. Very good. Oh, now we're losing quite a bit. Alright, that's fine. Hold. That initial attack cost us over almost a third of a million men. Holy crap. Well, we killed off 1.08 of them, so that's not bad. And that really gets them... Wanted to kill us off too. Yep, let's see if we might have mobilized a little more, maybe. We'll see. Brack 
shooting's nice. Get some more logistics, maybe. Yes, yes, yes. A thousand times yes. All right, let's go again. Try it again. You can break over. That'd be good. Oh my gosh, zero infrastructure. Are you kidding me? That's so bad. But expand Wing Hagen ports. The city or the city port of Wing Hagen is one of the biggest cities in the Republic, not to mention that its harbors and shipyards are among the biggest in all of northern Griffonia. Nonetheless, there are obvious problems as most of the equipment there is obsolete. If we spared some of our funds and nationalized all shipyards there, we could easily make Wing Hagen Wing Hagen into the greatest port of northern Griffonia. Sure, why not? So that's that. Oh this one. Do we actually have the cipher done for these guys? Eh, we had for these guys, yeah. We might as well use it. Like, they all have to give up first, because we they're, they just can't replace their losses. I mean, we can. We definitely, 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 definitely can. They should be at a strong zero all the time. I don't understand how we're losing with air superiority here. Ah, oh, that's why. We got 5,000 more planes than us, huh? Jesus Christ. That's insanely bad. Hold for now. Hold for now. Because the infrastructure is just so god-awful, too. Hold and let them attack us. All we need is one tile, man. Cut and kill all those enemies off. That'll be good. You guys keep going on because the supplies are probably really bad through here, so. Guys, get in there. Get in there. I don't care if it's bad. I, I, I legit don't care. Good, good, good. Keep it up. You're doing a good job. And now they're attacking us, huh? All right. Yes, yeah, get that state so we can, or city so we can actually get some supply through here. That'd be good. Nice. Uh, get some veteran juniors, recon, stuff like that. Very, 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 very beneficial stuff. Any upgrades actually yet? Um, Panzer expert, but not really. And then. How did you lo No, 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 you're not gonna lose up here. No, 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 no. Kill them off immediately. There is no peace for these guys. Pulling ports is nice. Expand the ports. Nice. Followed up with what? A wild ace? Yes, yes. Protect, uh, perfect the Soxhagen Plumenja Doctrine. With new battleship designs research, our Admiralty can now perfect Admiral Soxhagen's Plumenja's Doctrine. A navy made of dreadnoughts and battleships will humble the fleets of Fethizio and any other elements that, or enemies that could stand to think against us on the seas. Nice. Very good. Why did you not win here? Seriously. They're still... Oh, baby. They're still attacking. They're somewhat winning, but not really. That's good. We're still taking down your two, which is awesome, 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 awesome. I know it sucks, guys, but if you keep moving, getting cities, we can probably get some more supply for you guys here, anyways. They must have. I mean, we've almost lost a million. There are roughly four million losses, which is not enough yet. Oh, good. That, we got some more logistics. That's very, very good. Go to the next one too. Good. Expand Wigan Hagen ports. Perfect this, yes. Experimental submarine models. Submarines are a relatively new shot prototype that can go under the water in torpedo boats without even being recognized. Our Admiralty should expect four models from nations such as the Questria and eventually build some subs for our own. And time to go back to service by requirements. Yes. It's fine by us. Let them kill themselves off on our line. They're so close. Look at that. Semi modern rocket artillery. That's a wee bit too out of time for me. Just a wee bit. Get some more engineers. There you go. 
better rocket artillery. Look at that. Look at all the attacks they're doing. Kind of insane, not gonna lie. Uh, they must have raised the conscription level, right? You have to unscrew from the barrel now. Interesting. Very interesting. Who are you, 12? You're losing immediately. That's so stupid. Are you kidding me? I'm, how do they, how can they, how can anyone feel this many airplanes? Like, seriously. We built these bases. They didn't build these bases. This makes no sense. You, you don't have enough air bases here. But 8,000 there. Well, yeah, we're just going to stop our tax for here for now. Because eventually, they're, they're either they're running out of manpower or equipment or both. And of course, we're out of manpower too, but like, bro, seriously. Yeah, they're going to be running. Oh, they got plenty of equipment, so it's just manpower. All right. And. Perfect naval doctrines. Our new admiralty has been lost in arguments for the longest time now, unable to make up their minds on how to proceed in terms of naval specializations. This time we gave them a clear direction on where we he are headed with our naval doctrine. Air reduction, of course, is done. Keep going with this stuff. That's good stuff to get done. Um, look how weak they are. I mean, that's looking so bad. Oh, become offensive. That's good. Anyone else? Yes. 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 And... Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. They're still attacking like crazy, though. Which is nice, 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 nice. Um, how much longer for Hellquill? Farbrook can wait. River Federation will be quite good to do. You know, I don't see the point of even trying to attack them if they're going to continue attacking us like this, so... Let's wait. Perfect. No, no, never doctors. Experimental submodels. Well, I already read that one, so, but whatever. Still. 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 What if we did this? You never know what you might find down there. Logistics 5. Even better. I'm going to do that one anyways. We need it, so. They're still attacking, like... Why would you still continue to attack? Actually, how's compliance looking? We got a lot of this area cord, which is great. Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Local autonomy is not looking very good right now. Um, no, no. Alright. And that one too. Oh boy. Their destroyer is not enough. Obviously not enough, but that's okay. Yeah, they're just going to be attacking like crazy. How much more space you got here? Not much. I think they killed off most of their fighters. Did they really kill off all of our fighters? That's really bad. We have 1900 left, but they're not very good. Well, time to go in. Screw it. We're going in, boys. Doesn't matter at this point. Either us or them, and it's going to have to be them. A second port on the Sky Bay. Our only port on the Sky Bay is in the city of Winghaven. However, if Winghaven gets destroyed by an enemy or even natural disaster, we would have no ports to dock our ships. A port on the Fethysian border would work well to intimidate the Griffonian Empire and establish another port more south than Winghaven. Nice. Good stuff. Another convoy sunk? Great. Tons of battleships here. Just tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons. Go in. Never mind. You probably can't do very well, can you? You're okay over here, actually. But not really. No, you're actually... Wow, look at that. Yes, yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, victory after victory. I love it. They're done. They're done. After that, they're done. They have to be done. They literally have to be, right? We've only lost a million or two, right? They lost nearly eight million. The River Federation is very strong, as you can tell. Very, 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 very strong. We will stop attack eventually, technically, just because we need to get some more planning done, but that's okay. Just overrunning them. I love it. I don't know why. Like, how can you field that many planes? Military police is nice, though. Very good. 
Get some more guns. The other comment was like, I asked you guys what, how much if you guys use magical equipment, and you guys said they're less reliable, but they're a bit better when attacking, and you can replace normal guns. So I actually might use them. That would be better. Actually, that might have been better if I use that than normal guns right now. But whatever. I know a lot of people want me to play as a broad majocracy, but eventually, like, we'll get there. We will. I promise. Not sure when, but we'll get there eventually. Hellquill is just god awful. Everything else about the Forever Federation is pretty easy to take out, but Hellquill, no. No. I'm expecting at least 2 million casualties by the end of this campaign against these guys. The Fall Lake City, great! Finally, Hellquill's gone. And the gateway to the Forever Federation's heartland is extremely open. Wow. Okay, 1.2 million? That's not bad, actually. We have a lot of divisions, not gonna lie. We have a lot of divisions. A second port on the Sky Bay. Followed up with something probably, probably very good, the last step, of course. The last step in the great reforming of the Republican Navy should be the official creation of a Republican Mar Marine Corps, so that our troops can go boldly into the sea to navally invade Hawkland, in, even if things get dire. There's a question threat in the West. Yes. Ah, there goes Fabra. Good. Good. Look at all this. This is just one gigantic mess. Obviously, keeping, like, three extra armies underneath one group is not very smart, but whatever. It is what it is. There's so much manpower. War bonds? Eh, that's okay. Nice. Hey, oh, we actually... Okay, that, that's good. That's really good, actually. We're about to link up. About to link up. Let's get in, baby. Oh, we got up. We got up. Just go in. Now is much better. Full telly ho. Nice. Very, very nice. There you go. Wow, we need so much aluminum. Holy big daddy suckers. Wow. Yeah, not bad. 8 million lost for them so far is pretty awesome, actually. Do we need to capitulate Grandcliffe as well? I hope not. And the last step. Very bueno. Very, very, very bueno. Oh, I can't go down there. That sucks. Nice. So how close are they actually to capitulation? They're pretty darn close. That's really, that's really good. Yeah, that's a lot of losses. We've taken those casualties than I thought we initially would, but, you know. They're not easy. They really aren't. You just really just got to bait them into attacking you. Just like what I did with Switzerland when I played as Goring and TNO. Sorry. Spoilers. Sorry. <laughs> and if you follow this channel, all, you know I actually at the same time this recording, I'm also doing a TNO campaign of Goring, so. Everyone loves a fat man. <sighs> beautiful. Absolutely flipping Beautiful. Are you guys in an alliance or something? Oh, the anti-radical front. Okay, that's good. Uh, I don't want to have to do this, but we'll do it like this. That's fine. Good. Go in whenever we can. Max out that infrastructure pretty much all over the place. Well, hopefully we can recover our air force. Especially our fighters. Oh, not bueno. At this point, I'm not really concerned about technology, so. It is what it is. So after that, we can actually probably do something else here, right? No? Okay, then. So we need... Ooh. We need this, a southern dockyards. Okay, escort carriers, nice. Very good. Let's go in. We don't have time to waste. Oh, sure, guys. Thanks. Thanks for the stuff, free stuff, basically. Now it's good. Keep going in. Y'all be fine. Y'all be okay. Especially down here. I'm not worried about this one too much at all. Well, that's a lot of losses still, but still. Order of the Trinity. That's kind of cool, actually. That's all you need, actually. So actually, all you need is, is that one? Really? 
Oh, you guys are down here too. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well then. Well, these guys are about to die. Very harshly, I might add. Nice. Oh, the part of the fleet's not even sunk by us. Just destroyed and demolished. Let's go in. No peace. We lost, what, 100,000 against these guys? Something like that? Six, oh, oh, never mind. Nice. Now it's all pushover, sort of. All right. Southern Dockyards. Ballastamont is a port that will connect us to valuable southeastern trade networks. Once we expand the dockyards, it will also become a great asset to our navy. Yes, it will. Yes, it very much will. What is this? Massa Handelian Confederation. So some word I can't speak in. I should never try to repronounce again. Oh, yeah. We need to finish these guys off first. That's fine. Still mobilizing. Good. Oh, we need our ships here. That's right. Jesus Christ. Screw it. You're just task force in, on, in of yourself. Sure, guys. That's fine. Look how laggy it, it just became. Holy daddies. How can you not win here? What what's going on? Why is it so laggy? It's like Hoy Ford just crapped the bed or something. I do not understand. Oh, we can't go to war with you? Oh, that's weird. Just go in. There's nothing there. Seriously, there's literally nothing there. At least you found him, finally, thank God. Ooh, that, I do not want to repeat that. Oh, baby. Good. Well, we'll it'll take a while for us to go to war them, that's okay. So the dockyards followed up with Grand Battle, Pla Grand Battle Plan Fleet or something. Yeah. Oh. Yep, nice. And the people's breadbasket? Eventually. The rich soils of Broadfield and Kaiv allow its fields to produce great bounties of wheat, barley, and oats. We'll use this agricultural output to make sure that people are well fed. Nice. Sturmlade Gloria. I like that one. Annihilation, please. Please, more annihilation, please. Thank you. Come again. And we'll go to where these guys next. Look at that. Nice. Oh, even more. I don't know. I don't even know what to do these, with, these, with this stuff, man. I really don't. And I wish I had coffee here, too, but whatever. I don't. Can't win over there, but that's the only victory they're going to get. Losses include 11,000 versus 110,000. Not bad. Not bad. Pretty good. Pretty good. Oh, we're suffering from attrition here, huh? Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, we do have a little bit of manpower now. That's very good. It's a little bit ahead of time still. I did say I want to use tanks, but at this point, it's kind of, eh, I don't know. Having this much amount of 40 combo with infantry is, I wouldn't say extreme, but it's it's so devastating that using tanks is just, I don't feel like it at this point. So, now we can do this one. People's bread basket. Followed up with what? The tricolor or the frontier. The eastern griffins have been had to suffer much hardship and uncertainty throughout their existence, but now we have a chance to improve things. It's time to bring peace and prosperity to the east. Dreadly could kill. Who else? We have this group, that group, and Dreadly. Um, I think we can get a... Hmm... I don't know if I really want to kill them off. We could try, but I think this group is probably better to attack next, even though they're part of the question in front, right? Yeah, free changing highs, huh? United Ponies, Socialist Union. Hmm. That's interesting. 
Cool. And, oh. There's so many people here. Nice. And a trike over the frontier. Followed up with the first Pancrophonian elections. Now that our conquest across Griffonia have ended, it's imperative that we announce a second election for the Republic in which candidates from Scandinavia to Scriftstone will be allowed <clears throat> to compete. Social Democrats, Liberals, Harmonists, Conservatives, and Socialists have all announced their candidacies. For the first time in history, over 50% of the Griffonian people will be able to vote in free elections. Oh man, I would love to have this guy. That would be so cool. Both of the military. Um, I would like that a lot. Another turn for Sun Glider? Oh, we have King Feather here first. We'll lose some political power, but that's fine with us. Look at that manpower. That's all we get. That's all we got. That is not great. Uh, they really don't have a really big military, do they? Nice. The NRP priority primaries. With elections coming out that will include all of our new Griffonian territories and include politicians from politicians from hundreds of different cities, provinces, and towns, the NRP must decide which candidate it needs to run in the next election. The left NRP has already rallied around the Griffonian Socialist Party led by Gogan Kogchel and has left the party establishment. The two candidates are a Social Democratic Republican Revolutionary Theodore Verani, who hails from the land of Aquilia. The second candidate, who is more authoritarian but arguably more populous, is Alexander Kamerskai Jr., the son of the great leader Alexander Kamerskai, who both led the revolution of 978 and the second revolution of 1010s. Both candidates support Kamerskai's vision, but they each have their own views on executive power, constitution, and the people, of course. There is already the obvious candidate, our current president, who united all of Griponia under the National Republican Party. Although another term would spark more fears of authoritarianism, it would be a clear coast of victory, and will ensure that a future dominated by republicanism, stability, and the people. Theodore Verano give us up, give our party life? I like non aligned let's just go with the administration. Uh, we do get more non aligned but I think it just... I think we'll just go with the administration. Uh, yeah, I think for this one, for now, you know what, I'll make a save, just in case. I mean, if you want me to try out and look at some of the different leaders here, let me know in the comments below. I don't mind doing it, but we'll see what happens. Cool. Oh boy. Look at all these guys we got here. A second Astler term, huh? Well, uh, we probably can't do that stuff, but still. Not bad. Not bad. One, two, three, four, five, six. So many. This design is not great, but it's actually really not bad. That's actually, I said say that's a good design. That's really strong. Really flipping strong. Ladder shooting is nice. Grab some more, so we're going to get 15% more attack from our battleships. That's just devastating, man. Absolute devastation. Ah, the first Pangriffonian elections. And good. The first Pangriffonian elections have been the most contested in history. After the Republic, with parties other than the National Republican Party allowed to participate, many candidates have created their own parties and new cast their lot in to become the next president of the Republic. The most left-wing groups have attracted major support from labor unions, workers, and the unemployed. With a democratic socialist policy, they had advocate for major welfare reforms, expansion of cooperatives, and industrial democracy. Rickard Astler espouses these same values while being a member of the NRP, but there's also Gabriel Coglet. Kogchel, whose life in the Grand Duchy of Felizia has given him a devotion to demo democratic values. Those connections with anarchists and revolutionary socialists during the Empire's Regency crisis have not been overlooked. The Social Democrats, led by Genevieve Gilded Wing, a Skyfall-based Social Democrat and populist, have also gained critical support from the workers. Her experiences with the unregulated capitalism of Skyfall's oligarchy will make her a candidate who understands the plight of the common folk. She will no doubt establish progressive taxes and transform the Republic into a welfare state. Although, if she is already ruling Sky Skyfall, there's a little chance she will actually come too close to the presidency. The center NRP, as led by Theodore Verani and Schnabel Sunglider, both Griffins very similar to the President Marshall. An Aquilian revolutionary fought in multiple revolutions against the corrupt, discreet dynasty. Verani is dedicated to the principles of republicanism and harmony, and Schnabel of the famed general and idealist of the Republic is perhaps as well in renown. Of course, there's always those of the centrist parties, and the right NRP, Giovanni de Gaspuingi, a wing body and reformer who supports laissez faire economics, strong social support for the poor, and friendship with Equestria, has taken a stand as a prominent liberal democrat, while Heinrich Kingfeather, a member of the right NRP, has staunchly allied himself with Giovanni's new movement. The final group of politicians, the militarists, led by Kemerskai's oh, son, Alexander Kemerskai Jr., a staunch Republican. Alexander supports centralizing the Republic, strengthening the positions of the president, and making sure that the government is efficient and populist. Opponents say his government would be dictatorial, though he laughs off those accusations. 
The Progressive, the Pragmatist. I don't know. We've already gone down this way so far already. We might as well go with Heinrich Kingfeather for now. So, apologies if we didn't, we didn't go down the way you wanted, but a second turn. King Heinrich Kingfeather's brand of pragmatic centralism has gotten us in this far, and her assistants have rewarded him with, him with another term. Now is the time for veteran leadership, not the time to take a chance on a dangerously unknown quality or quantity. Quantity. Free market capitalism. Liberty is a natural order wherein individuals pursue their own interests while also contributing to the general good. Such should be the case in an economy. We must put an end to burdensome taxes, tariffs, and regulations in order to unleash our full potential. And right now, we will definitely be unleashing our full potential. Thank you. I don't know if I actually go to war, then we'll see. Hey, combo is not bad. Oh, we don't need to see this one. At least, probably not. Losses. 127,000. Not bad, not bad. Can we make it 200,000? Please, please, please. 200,000. We can make it 200,000, right? Right? And... Yes, we have. 202,000. That's all we really need to know. Good, good. A second term. Oh, as it should be. As it should be. Losses. Oh, third of a million. Great. Free market capitalism, my friends. I like you. They're very good. Oh, and you might want to get down to here. There you go. Yay. We got him, guys. There you go. And there you go. And I'm going to start shuffling some of these guys around, like there. And shuffle you around right here. And then shuffle you around back. Uh, go up there. Not bad. Pretty good. Nice. Follow it up with normalize equestrian relations. Equestria is a strong and stable country, a shining example of everything we should be looking to emulate. There are natural allies in the fight for freedom, and closer cooperation between us would greatly benefit both of our nations. Nice. Do you ever going to kill them off? <laughs> yeah, maybe we shouldn't kill them. But shh, don't tell them that. Don't tell them that. Nice. And then support business initiatives. Instead of viewing each other as adversaries, government and private interests should work together and collaborate. Joint ventures and interests, investments in new technologies and productive capabilities will foster innovation and allow our industries to reach new heights of efficiency. And I know, I, I, like I said earlier, I, the time right now doesn't really even really concern me at all, so. There you go. We're actually, wow. We have a massive industry. Then again, I don't know how we'd fall apart unless it was like an extreme major economic crisis. Then I can see us falling apart, but still. Oh, there's roads that need to be built, man. What are we supposed to do about the Dreadly? Can we actually kill them off? Like, can we actually, man, you go to war with them? Do they, go, do they fight us eventually? Like, I, I, I never know. No, we can't go to war with them, so. I have no idea what about them. No idea. Cool. But let's encourage pony immigration. As we align closer with the equestrian tradition, we have an opportunity to benefit from an influx of educated, talented pony immigrants. We need to get the message out that the Republic is a prosperous place, friendly to all creatures. Welcome, one and all. Sounds like a good idea. Look at all that. Resistance going down. Uh, compliance is looking not too bad, though. It could be looking so much worse. Shell dies, huh? Well, give that one too. That's good. Thank you. Are you guys training yet? No, you're not. You go train for now. You'll be fine. Nice. And privatize mining companies. It's a well known fact that publicly held institutions are inherently insufficient or inefficient and prone to mismanagement. Privatization of the mining companies will ensure that the owners have incentives to manage their resources as well, enabling us to get the most out of our land and put the ponies to work. From Pegasi aeronautics experts and unicorn mages to earth pony agriculturalists, ponies possess unique and valuable skills that will be very useful to the economy. We need to continue tracking skilled ponies to the country, as well as ensuring they are well compensated for their expertise. And I'm just going to use consequences of these last two, so. Um, there you go. Yeah, there it goes well. Cool. We could go to war with them, but what does this one do? You lose political power, you get more population and factory output. 
And you get some more resources here, but I think that's pretty much going to be up for us here. Have I used console commands? I don't know. Let's, let's just up. Oh, pretty good. No, I've not. Like normal. Good. Good. So, I think that's going to be it, everyone. That's going to be the campaign. This was a lot, a little longer than I thought it was, but this is really good. I guess technically we could have gone with the Republic of Nova Grafonia. I wish there was something here, but they already made their choice of going down communist, which is that historical? I don't know. I didn't edit any of the game rules when I started this, but Kolbul? I think it's a Kolbul. That's really cool, though. But yeah, I think we're done here. There's no other focuses, but hey, if you enjoy the campaign, do leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.